Hello, many thanks for joining us here on yet another episode of the Candy Talk here on Haman Manyura's YouTube channel. My name is Evans Okin. As usual, I'm here with Professor Haman Manyura Prof. Yes. How are you? Wonderful. I can see you still on the phone trying to look at what is taking place in yes, the country. Yes, yes, I'm seeing people you, in Nairobi uh -huh. CBD rioting and demonstrating about Chinese things. Uh -huh. Yes. Is it that bad? Is it where the country is rich right now? Yes. So the people we're talking of demonstrations people rioting all over season of madness uh -huh. yes. and yet the 14 days ultimatum is not yet yes Damn. we ain't seen counts. nothing uh -huh. yet <laughs> americans will tell you you ain't seen no nothing yet <laughs> and there's also stuff happening in nigeria <laughs> this continent could experience really upheavals <laughs> things are happening in south africa things are happening in nigeria if i was the president of this country <laughs> I will not allow Kenya to join that. Because if you have fire in South Africa, <laughs> you have something in Nigeria, and then we have issues here, mm -hmm. the continent will catch fire. And, and that, that begs a kind of a question. What does it take for one to become a president in Africa right now? Most of them are just con men. Mm -hmm. And uh, really it's, it is rare that uh, people follow what is the narrow and the straight. Mm -hmm which is where we must be just follow the narrow and the after all mm -hmm. to be president is to occupy a position of service why would you die to be to serve people unless you have some ulterior motives mm -hmm. well if you are intentional just to serve people ask them i have this capacity can i serve you if they say no let them give the person they want mm -hmm. africa is yet to get there definitely yes. now, uh, something quite interesting happened this weekend uh, specifically um the other day, of course, the agri Chedule led to being all finally tabled their findings to the president. And uh, as expected, uh, it was a dead end for Irene Masit, of course, the only uh, suspended IBC commission. I remember the others had actually resigned earlier on. But she was still hanging, claiming that she was innocent of all those charges against her. But here we are. The tribunal gave its report and it actually recommended a mandatory um, sacking of uh, Irene Masit. And let me just ask from the beginning, did you expect anything different from what the agri uh, Chedule led to be on the table to the president? I've seen people calling me and mm -hmm. texting me and sending me forwarding things. Mm -hmm. uh, I said once on Spice FM, mm -hmm. this is rubbish. Because if the president himself has pronounced them and judged them guilty, you remember the president calling them rogue commissioners? Definitely, I remember. And that. then he proceeds to appoint a, a commission and he had a tribunal. What do you expect? I said, you cannot expect anything different. Mm -hmm. So I think what I said on Spice FM has been carried out by the standard KTN and circulating around. Mm -hmm. But it's true. How, how would you expect? The person going to form, to select the tribunal, to preside over the case, mm -hmm. has already adjudged the commission as guilty rogue commissioners out to subvert the will of the Kenyan people. That is from the president. Mm -hmm. Then the same president proceeds <laughs> to select a panel mm -hmm. to judge over those commissioners. Which fairness can you expect? Mm -hmm. so this tribunal was just more of a conveyor. And even the man in charge, you know, he's a good man. I'm a lawyer. I think he's a lawyer. But mm -hmm. even him, there's so much they'll say about him. You know, this country, we have a small basic problems. Mm -hmm. We must know the meaning of values, of integrity, of standing in society. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you are a judge and certain things have been said about you, the best thing is for you to leave. Now you see instead of those judges leaving, they, can, they are being given other bigger responsibilities. It makes Kenyans wonder, what, what, what kind of country do we have? Because a country without values. Mm -hmm. Where men and women do not do self sentience So here, I'm, 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 I'm innocent. But the public has been made to believe I'm not innocent. <laughs> in the interest of justice, and in the interest of this country, you just live. <laughs> that's what the countries we die to go to, that's how people behave. We at Nairobi Review appreciate the support you have given Haman Manyura's YouTube channel. Through your financial support, we've been able to reach millions of Kenyans and produce quality content every single day. It hasn't been easy and therefore we appreciate you for subscribing, sharing and watching us every single day.
Whether you're a long-term fan or just discovering this YouTube channel, your financial support can make a huge difference. You can impress us via 0768 074 076 or use still number 964 4543. That is 0768 074 076 or impressive till number 9644543 we highly appreciate your support you know, I, li I listened to the president speak yesterday after receiving that report from the tribunal and it was like saying that uh, in the past we've had uh, people who occupy some of these offices uh, who have been actually mandated by the constitution to serve Kenyans at various levels we've had them leave these offices in some sort of an onslaught from the public and of course it was revisiting uh, the manner in which uh, a number of people are compelled to leave you to remember Isaac Hassan, remember uh, uh, see the other IBC CEO, yeah, yeah. the kind of uproar that was there from the ODM and that kind of public lynching and all that has been said about uh, Ofulache Bukati uh, throughout this kind of period. And he was actually saying that, well, that was not fair, but here we are, we decided to actually work on facts such that by the time that we decide to let these people off, then they should not be complaining that perhaps we were biased or we did something out of the constitution. We gave them fair hearing and here we are making decisions based on facts. And by the way, I was just wondering, so does it mean that there was any purpose as to <laughs> in relation to, 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 to the formation of this tribunal where it was just there for the president to show the country that perhaps is following the law. Nobody will believe in such a... Uh -huh. uh, and I've said it's not good for the country. <laughs> uh, discussing with, uh, with Judd, I think, in response to the LGB or whatever that thing ruling <laughs> from the Supreme Court, I said lawyers must know that uh, courts do not f exist in a vacuum. And if what you lawyers, what lawyers and the judges and the say is that extreme variance with the common sense, mm -hmm. then there's something wrong. So this issue of the tribunal to look at, nobody believes in it. Not even those with us on the side of the president, mm -hmm. they just know it's a joke. But an expensive joke because we are playing around with a dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. Elections are what will bring this country down. Before anything else, forget about cost of living. It is the election that will bring this country, because this country will go down. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. And we are inviting, cutting disaster. We must manage our elections in the best way we can. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind those who are busy trying to create a, a commission. Mm -hmm. There can be no elections in 2027 with these shenanigans around. Mm -hmm. Let us assume Regard the son of Mau Mau and the William Samoy Ruto, mm -hmm. President of the Republic. Let's assume they subdue Raila. In whichever way. Mm -hmm. And this thing of 14 days of mass action or what have you, of Ruto must go, all of it die. And therefore Ruto slides into 2027. If he will be voted by five, if five million Kenyans will turn out to vote, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I'll live beyond that day. <laughs> it will not be possible. It will not be possible to get 5 million people voting. 2 million people didn't vote in 2013. 4 million didn't vote in 2017. <laughs> 8 million didn't vote in 2022. <laughs> I'll be surprised if, if he will win by more than 5 million votes. And what is more, he will be running solo. <laughs> solo. Alone. William Samoy Ruto will be running against William Samoy Ruto in 2027. If he will take pleasure in that, mm -hmm. then he's a different sort of man. Because most people want to, f to fight and win something. The sweetness in the victory is to be found in the struggle of the fight. But if you just walk through and win, mm -hmm. if you are playing football and you are manure and you are playing... Uh, say some of these stupid Kenyan teams and you score them 30, 30 zero. <laughs> is that victory you can celebrate? <laughs> so if the president will want to run again himself in 2027, let him continue with these shenanigans of, 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 of IBC. Because you cannot have an election in 2027 unless you do something drastic, something almost revolutionary.
-hmm. about our electoral infrastructure that goes beyond the IBC alone. Mm -hmm. It's not just the commissioners. It is a whole lot of other things, mm -hmm. including whether or not we should, we should decentralize our, our, our management of elections mm -hmm. to count levels. How many commissioners should we have? Should they be full-time? How will they be selected? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Okay. If we can't see that, then there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. William Samoy Ruto, if we subduce Raila and Kinakalonzo and Manda Karua, will run against himself in 2027. Mm -hmm. And he will get such embarrassing low votes, he'll be ashamed to be president. If he has... You know, not all of us has the capacity to, to feel shame on you, as somebody says. Eh? Mm -hmm. But then, if you cannot feel shame on you, then... To what extent are you a human being? What makes us a human, a human being is the capacity to be embarrassed, to be ashamed of certain things. <laughs> if you are running as president in 2027 and there's nobody credible running against you, <laughs> and you know why, and then you end up with 4 million votes, when somebody won with almost uh, 7, you won with 7 the previous election, <laughs> and now you are winning with 3 million votes, <laughs> How will you celebrate your victory? And this actually does not ring some sort of... If this um, IBC they are putting in place <laughs> run the 2027 election, Ruto having managed Raila, there will be no election in 2027. <laughs> it will just be... Be be before, before we go mm. to, the, to the constitution of the new uh, IBC body, uh, I saw one of the recommendations or other findings that uh, uh, was written actually in the Daily Nation. Uh, that actually purported to say that uh, those from the Azimio side actually had planned or rather plotted uh, to do some sort of rigging of the elections and of course that was exposed in the same same uh, report by the tribunal there and, and and then I'm asking you know I'm wondering before Shibukat left he actually advised the president to form a commission of inquiry to look into the election and then see how actually what is it that happened so that Kenyans can actually know well on the other side there's Mio uh, side also be, believe led by Raila Molo Dinga that the election, uh, the victory was, was, was stolen, quote-unquote, for that matter. So my question is this, in case that commission will be formed, and I wonder which purpose will it solve right now that already the tribunal was formed and it already has got some sort of predetermined conclusions that we are having here, how uh, objective can that commission be and how fair can it be? Or will it just uh, swing, uh, swing along to the tune of the president? Of the there will be no need for a commission. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about whether that commission will be necessary or will be objective. Anything to do with the elections of 2027, on the trajectory the president is setting, mm -hmm. is dead on arrival. It will not work. And this is simple common sense. If, I want to repeat, if Raila is subdued, mm -hmm. whichever way, because there are many approaches to subduing an individual, mm -hmm. And William Ruto goes to 2027 election. He will go there alone. He will have no opponent. Mm -hmm. And Kenyans will not vote. If he gets 3-4 million votes, he will be president. But how will he enjoy that presidency? So forget about which commission, Chepukati. That's all kindergarten. Mm -hmm. That's all childish. What we need is to know, and I've repeated severally, that elections do destroy countries. We are still in the, that kind of process of uh, coming up with the new actually electoral body uh, members here and, and right now as, it, as things stand I understand, I understand that this tribunal was to recommend what should be done and I read down the recommendation that the president must uh, sack uh, <laughs> must suck, I read my seat. So I wonder whether that is a recommendation or rather com some sort of a, 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 a compelling kind of... It means of once the tribunal is through mm -hmm. with her, she's go home. Uh -huh. yeah, but I've said she's already home. Which mm -hmm. home is she going to? Mm -hmm. It's already a dead end for us, they say. Yeah. Now, we are constructing this body, and I saw, at the, uh, of course, the list of the new members who are going to actually form that kind of commission that will be mandated to uh, oversee the, the selection recruit. panel. Yeah, the selection panel, that is. Uh, the ODM decided to boycott. They did not actually uh, provide the name that they had been requested to do, saying that they're not going to be part and parcel of constituting a body that they will uh, actually, they, they, they kind of say that will play along to the tune of the president. Do you think it was actually justifiable for the orange party to boycott the kind of selection 
Why would the ODM be part of FAS? Uh -huh. That's a FAS. I've told you, I don't know how, which English, how many young ex but, but, but how does helping now? Do I speak, speak English or Swahili? I have said How this. does boycotting help? I've yeah. said elections mm -hmm. are important and they can bring this country down. We've mm -hmm. been lucky. Mm -hmm. We've been? We've been lucky. So you? We are not always going to be lucky. So let's do things right. You cannot go to 2027 20, election using the path that we are now on. Mm -hmm. You can't. You will not have an election. So whether there is a selection panel or not is immaterial. This commission, it can be formed the way they want. But there will be no election in 2027 that you can talk of. So waste of time. So we are just wasting time. We are creating room for chaos and anarchy. Mm -hmm. You cannot have this election. So it's, how it is formed is not even material. And even when I look at the names. Mm -hmm. Come on. Do we really know elections are important? Hmm. Do we know elections are important? But, but probably we don't seem to know. Qualified Kenyans. No, oh, God, huh? come on. I live in this country. Excuse me. I live here and I know one or two things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have, a clip has been going around for the better part of this month and I think last month. A lecturer, some professor is talking to students from foreign countries. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, he's giving the Singapore example. Mm -hmm. Why did Singapore succeed where others have failed? Acronym MPH, meritocracy. Mm -hmm. For every job in Singapore, they chose to give it to the best man or woman. Okay? And then there was pragmatism, do that thing which works. Like what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then there was honesty, MPH. So, if you know elections are important, they can bring your country down. Mm -hmm. They can take the country forward. And that we've been lucky in the past. You'll get the best men and women to be your commissioners. When this Kinama City were, 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 were chosen, mm -hmm. I was, I think, on Citizen TV and I said, like, is this the best we can have? These are, these are not people who can run an election. <laughs> no. And when I look at this election panel, these are not people who can select anybody. They are not capable. I just look at them and say, these are not the best. They are good people mm -hmm. because they are good Kenyans. Some of them know. are professionals in their own right. But they are not the best. I, know, to I, you? Don't, I don't think. Mm -hmm. They don't have the capacity to do undertake such a serious thing. Mm -hmm. And we are playing with danger. If you have an electoral commission, the moment a name lands, they'll say, yes. The country will just say, oh, Flan, yes. Mm -hmm. Another one, oh, yes. We would know. Everybody would know. Come on, who are you? Yes. You see, people have been talking about uh, ESEC chair. If people have been floating names, even Kenyans themselves. Mm -hmm. Then but, you but, go and... But on the same list, I've also, I've also seen a number of papers speculating the likes of uh, uh, Charles Nyachai. Such. Oh, IBC. Such, of, uh, such. Uh, now, Professor can Kibuta someone Kibuana. like it, Nyachai is a very good man. Uh -huh. A very good Kenyan. But he can hear an IBC. That, that I have in mind. An independent IBC for me. Yeah. I don't think he has what it takes. <laughs> and there are Kenyans who can do this job. Even when we choose Chief Justice, you know, the 2010 Constitution gave us very good offices, very good commissions and institutions. We forgot one critical element. <laughs> institutions without the men and women, they are useless. The child was in charge of CIC, Constitution of... Uh, Something, something. Implementation of the cup. All the mess we have in the implementation, I didn't see it being <laughs> sorted out. <laughs> he's not capable. <laughs> no, he's not. So there are, yet there are Kenyans who can do. There are people you put there and everybody will say, huh? Yeah. This one, okay, fine. fine. <laughs> this one, ah, yeah, yeah. This one can try. This one's okay. People know. <laughs> in America, in UK, in Germany, South Africa, every country has its men and women. Who, if you selected for a particular assignment, people say, yes, mm -hmm. this one can do it. Those are the men and women we should go for. And they are in this country. Mm -hmm. We know them. They may not pamper to our whims, and that's why they will not go there. They may not even pass the interview. That's why they don't even apply. When we were choosing a chief justice, I said, how come only 13 people applied for this good job? Mm -hmm. Many Kenyans knew they can't be taken. 
and we are seeing what's now coming out of this institution. But even even then, Professor Makau to apply, he yeah. was not yet listed. Yeah. <laughs> Now, 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 what, what? And I'm not even saying Mutua is a mm -hmm. good person. Uh, he could have been the chief justice. Uh -huh. But there were people like Philip Murugo. Mm -hmm. the, Very serious. Yeah, those people. Things. You listen to him. Uh -huh. Say this guy can be a chief justice. Uh -huh. I'm not saying mother cannot be a chief justice. How difficult? Mother, How di mother, come. She's a good lady. She can okay. be a chief justice. Mm -hmm. But some of the rulings, judgments coming from no, the Supreme right Court now, is, right now people are like is, is, is surprising me because uh -huh. I don't think. People are like wondering, we thought that we I have seen the Chief Justice <laughs> talking about bottom-up. I said, yeah. look, you're wondering. You see, English is not just a language you use. Uh -huh. And by the time you reach the level of a Chief Justice, you must know what comes from your mouth. It's very, very important. Mm -hmm. You can't say, bot can say bottom-up <laughs> because you mean that there are going to be small claims courts. No! People quickly link you to Ruto. Mm -hmm. But I don't blame her. It is the whole country doesn't know. That once you are sent to a certain office, eyes are on you. Everything you say is important. And that's why you see people attacking Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. Not because he's a bad man, but because he doesn't know that at that level, every word that comes from you in a Pimwa Kwa Mizani. So these institutions of ours are good institutions, mm -hmm. but the men and women are not there in those institutions. Oh. And the institutions sometimes mm -hmm. are as good as the, the Supreme Court of America it's just an institution in America. What makes it are the men and the women on the bench. Mm -hmm. How difficult do you think it is to come up with uh, an IBC commission that uh, would consist of individuals who can't be compromised whatsoever? It's not difficult. Mm -hmm. No. Once Singapore again, mm -hmm. H, honesty. Mm -hmm. Let us first of all be honest in what we are doing mm -hmm. and choose men of integrity. Mm -hmm who put honesty first. Who will look at the president and tell him, yes, you so, gave me this job, but I cannot do it. You see the chaos in Nigeria? Uh -huh. The chaos in Nigeria. We don't want those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Look for men and women. And they are there. There may not be many, but such a men are always there. Such a women are always there, but there are never many. But we must start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the question of elections in this country must preoccupy our mind and we must know whether we are going to be a successful country or a failed state will be determined by among other things and almost top on the list how we manage our electoral system. Mm -hmm. Of what significance, finally as we conclude and as we wind up this show, of what significance is social legitimacy to the president as compared to uh, legal legitimacy because actually what we see right now is that uh, He's got all the uh, instruments of power, so legally he's there. But then his legitimacy has been challenged on the other side. And there are a number of Kenyans who believe that perhaps you do not deserve, like you, like just as the Azmiu side are actually saying here. But then, so what I'm seeing here is that his kind of social legitimacy is under question right now. If it was not important, uh -huh. Huru and Raila would not have worked together, would not <laughs> have sought each other. I don't know who sought you. Uh, to answer that question, but very, very quickly, because of time, mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. In the modern state, there is government or state on one side and society or the people on the other. It has been shown that society is more powerful than the state. Mm -hmm. The state has instruments of violence, but society has bigger power and bigger force than the state. Mm -hmm. For that reason, it's not enough for you, one, to win the legal battle and become president. And the two, to be in commander-in-chief and therefore in all the instruments of violence under your control. Mm -hmm. That is useless if you do not appreciate the power of society over the state. Mm -hmm. And that's how legitimacy now comes in. Should it be you must strive to be legitimate. Mm -hmm. You cannot please everybody, certainly, because there was a contest. A contest brews enemies and enmity. But, but legitimacy must never hang on your head as a president. Mm -hmm. You try as much as possible to minimize resentment. And you must know, which is, many, which is what people like Ashagwa and I think Ruto do not know. Mm -hmm. To govern is a product of negotiations. You begin by negotiating within your own party to be the flag bearer. You negotiate with the people to vote for you. 
-hmm. And after you have been sworn in, you negotiate around legitimacy. By avoiding extremes, so that in the, in, in, in the parliamentary democracies like Israel, UK, and so on and so forth, there is minimal votes of no confidence coming your way. Mm -hmm. Vote of no confidence. Mm -hmm. So you keep negotiating to be in power. Mm -hmm. There is no, there is nothing like absolute power. Mm -hmm. Nobody in the modern world, not even a monarch, that exists with absolute power. Mm -hmm. The modern, the modern man is so enlightened that you cannot rule over him by force. Mm -hmm. So, so, so leadership is negotiated. So, if you are the president of Kenya, you must know you've negotiated that space, and the negotiation keeps going on. Mm -hmm. in taking various forms and shapes, you know, mm -hmm. until you finish your term and then negotiate for a, another term. Mm -hmm. But if you think now I'm the president, I have complete power, absolute power, you are very wrong. Eh? Mm -hmm. And the things like these demonstrations mm -hmm. they, they will show you that you are wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely we are here and of course, ladies and gentlemen, as we told you, we are keeping tabs on everything taking place in this country and we've got a very robust team here actually lined up to make sure that you're up to date with everything taking place in the country, be it political, economic, and each and everything, even socio-political. We have here Jadil Kabiro with very comprehensive analysis of everything political taking place in the country, and Richard Mwenje coming up with uh, Business Glide and the CSA Brigade here. Ladies and please do not fail to tune into all those programs until we have this conversation again. Have yourself a very lovely day. My name is Evan Sokini, and do not fail to subscribe to our channel here.